Hello, c'est moi. Welcome back to my channel. For the ones who don't know me, I'm living in Braga, in Portugal. So in today's video, I'm going to bring you with me just through all the reasons why I love living here in Braga. But first, where is exactly Braga? So, Braga is in the north of Portugal, in the Minho region. It's not that far from the city of Porto and from the capital uh, Lisbon, so it's a good option for the ones who want to live in Portugal but not in the big cities. A good opportunity if you want to visit the cities around. Bon Jesus do Monte, which means Good Jesus of the Mountain. It's one of the most beautiful places here in Braga. It's set on a towering hill overlooking the city and old town. And it's an old pilgrimage church and chapels reached via a zigzag stairway. It's beautiful, isn't it? But you may ask, why did I end up here living in Braga? Well, a Portuguese guy just told my heart years ago and I've decided to join him here and I couldn't find a better city than here in Braga. It's a really cozy city and so the people are really friendly. But now, who better than a local person to make you a visit of the history of Braga? Guy, take these people and make a visit around. Hello, Samoa! Hi, guys! Welcome to the oldest Portuguese city. Come with me for a tour. Back to the ancient Roman Empire, Braga was one of the key cities for the Romans at the Iberian Peninsula. In fact, we still have the nickname for Braga as the Portuguese Rome. So once Portugal was formed as a kingdom, Braga remained relevant as a city. The city was administrated during that time by the church, by the archbishops. And still now we keep this famous nickname of the city of the archbishops from that time. Braga is also home for a wide variety of cultures that come to profit from the vibrant community and energy this city has to offer. Braga kept reinventing itself, staying true to its origins. Our 2000 years history 
may be witnessed in the richness of our costumes, gastronomy and architecture. Our language will not be a challenge either. As roots on Latin and shall not be very difficult to learn. Right, Grace? Então, vou dizer alguma tíbia com sumo de naranja e, e manga. Um pão manga laranja. Sim, é isso. So, is Portuguese an easy language? I would say yes and no. Like, it's a complicated language, but for the people like me who is Latin based, it's kind of achievable. Braga is a really animated city. What is really nice is that um, the stores are open really late, and so there is still life after work, and people just like to uh, spend time in the terrace, just chilling, drinking a coffee. Here in Braga, we have a mild climate. So we have an average of more or less 24, 25 degrees during summer and 12 degrees during winter. In fact, the summer here is quite dry, so it's not uncommon to experience temperature up to 40 degrees. Braga has a lot of parties all year long. We have first Braga Romana, then we have San Juan, that you can see the decoration still. That is party of a saint, then we have Noite Branca, which means white night, where everybody just dressed in white. And we even have a tradition during Christmas that everybody just gather in the center of the city just to drink uh, a muscatel with a banana with your friends just before going back home having dinner with your family. Guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, do not hesitate to put a lot of thumbs up. And if you are not yet a subscriber, you already know how it is. Just click on the button below. And so that's it. I hope that you could enjoy a bit of uh, Braga. For me, it's really um, a beautiful city with a huge quality of life. And I don't regret at all to move here and we see you in the next episode ciao ciao